Today, I'm going to show you how to make seamless repeating patterns in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. To make a repeating pattern, there are two main steps. The first step is to make a repeating tile. When making your tile, it's very important that the edges of your design line up with each other. This is the trickiest part of pattern making, but I'll show you an easy way to do it later in the video. The next step for making patterns is to duplicate your tile so that it fills the entire screen. Fortunately, Affinity Photo has a great tool that makes this really easy to do. So let's start with step one, making the repeating tile. To do this, we'll first make a new document by pressing Command or Control N. Set your document to 1000 by 1000 pixels. Now it's time to add the design elements that you want to use in your pattern. You can use anything you want, but if you'd like to use the same files as me, I've left a download link for them in the video description. After downloading the files, just come up to File, and then down to Place. Then select the photos and open them in Affinity. Then click and drag to place the images. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. Using these two images, we get to design our pattern tile. While designing, remember that you can duplicate a layer by pressing Command or Control J. You can also move around layers, resize them, or rotate them. And if you want to turn snapping lines off, just press on the red magnet up here. Now let's take a minute to design our patterns tile. At this point, our pattern is really starting to come together. But now I want to show you how to put parts of your design off the edge of the tile while keeping both edges matched up with each other. To do this, we'll need to get out the transform panel. Using this panel, there's a really neat trick that we can use while making patterns. Using this panel, we can see that the position of the bird is negative 85 pixels on the x-axis and 536 pixels on the y-axis. We want to make a duplicate copy of the bird and then place the duplicate copy on the other side of the tile. And since we know that this entire document is 1000 by 1000 pixels, all we need to do is duplicate the layer and then move it 1000 pixels on the x-axis. Since our x position is negative 85 right now, we just need to add 1000 to it, which will move the duplicate copy to the other side. Now our two birds are perfectly matched up so that when we repeat this tile, the two edges will come together to form a complete bird. But let's say later on, you want to move one of these birds. In that case, you can hold down shift to select them both, and then move them both at the same time, keeping them perfectly lined up with each other. Okay, now that we know how to put design elements on the edge, I'm going to take another minute to refine my tile. Once you like the way your tile looks, 
Come up to the File menu and export your work. Perfect! We've now finished Step 1. Now we're ready to move on to Step 2, duplicating the tile. Fortunately, this step is much easier. First, open the tile you just exported by pressing Command or Control O. Then come up to Layer, New Pattern Layer from Selection. Now we have a pattern layer in the Layers panel. This is a special type of layer, which allows us to easily duplicate our tile. But before we do that, let's make a new document to place our pattern into. Go ahead and make this document whatever size you want. Now come back to the pattern layer and copy it with Command or Control C. Then come back to the new document and paste the pattern with Command or Control V. Now it's time for the most magical part of pattern making. Get out the Move tool, and then resize your pattern tile. As you do so, Affinity will automatically resize and duplicate the rest of your pattern so that it perfectly fills the screen. Pretty amazing, huh? You can even move or rotate the tile, and the rest of the pattern will move with it. And if you don't like how your pattern is looking, you can always go back to your tile document and modify it however you want. Then export the tile again and create a new pattern. Patterns are a lot of fun to make, but if you'd like to learn more great Affinity Photo skills, you can check out my free course in the video description. It will teach you 10 simple steps to make any photo amazing. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.